30 days. And, and on this next slide, we're going to look, there are three different types of month that we can measure. There's a solar month, sidereal month, and a synodic month. Some people say synodic. Anyway, synodic is how I know how to say it. So three types of month. A solar month is the amount of time it takes for the sun to move through one sign of the zodiac. Each sign gets a 30 degree portion of the sky. And so it takes about 30 days, right? But again, things warp and wane. Sometimes it only takes 29 days to go through a sign. Sometimes it takes 31 days because the earth is moving at a different speed relative to its point in orbit around the sun. So in this way, our Gregorian calendar is accurate a lot of the times. Now, is the difference between 30 and 31 days in a Gregorian month based on where the sun is relative to any particular sign? No, absolutely not. We are not, our Gregorian calendar is connected to almost nothing in the natural world. It's, it's connected to the four corners, the equinoxes and solstices. Those are its, its sort of trigger points and, and steady points. But, um, you know, originally months were measured one of the ways as where the sun is relative to a sign. So the sun travels 30 degrees, identified by the sun's location relative to the zodiacal constellations. So, um, yeah, the sun is about halfway through Capricorn right now in the sidereal zodiac. Um, okay, so a sidereal month is measured by the amount of time it takes for the moon to go 360 degrees around the zodiac. So from the point where you know the moon is at zero degrees of Aries, it takes 27 days, seven hours, and 43 minutes for the moon to go 360 degrees all the way around and get back to zero degrees of Aries. And that's about the moon's fixed location relative to the stars. However, in the amount of time it takes for the moon to go 360 degrees, in that time, the sun has also moved a bunch of degrees. So getting back to that same point doesn't make it a new moon again. Right, so the synodic month is measured by the duration between new moons. And so this is 29 days, 12 hours, 44 minutes and three seconds, approximately. And it takes the moon moving 390 degrees, right? A full loop around the zodiac plus 30 degrees, plus one more sign. And it is identified by the syzygy of sun, moon, and earth. Syzygy meaning, meaning the alignment uh, in, a, in a straight line of the sun, moon, and earth. And that we can measure that between new moons or full moons. Doesn't really matter. I like doing it with new moons. Um, but, but any form of syzygy to get the sun, moon, and earth in one line to go all the way around takes 29 days, 29 and a half days. So those are three types of months. We can choose how to measure them. Uh, and the Gregorian calendar measures none of them. So take that for what you will. Okay. This is my best way to show how time itself is measured by changes in light and how time is inseparable from the movement of the stars and planets. So on the left here, this is a South Indian style astrology chart. You see the 12 zodiacal signs arranged in order around the earth here in the center. And for the purposes of this example, this is a new moon right on the cusp between Aries and Taurus, right? So the sun and moon are in the exact same location. And just to show the parallel, here's a clock on the other side. And we're just gonna step through this one by one. Okay, that's one day. The moon has moved. 13 and a third degrees, and imperceptibly, the sun has shifted one degree. And that's going to happen every single day. And so we're just going to, if we connect the moon to the minute hand and the sun to the hour hand, this is how time works, right? The sun's going along, and the minute hand is easy to see moving, and every once in a while, you notice that, that the hour hand has moved. Moving along, moving along. Okay, we're going to stop here.
because this is the half hour mark, right? And the sun, or sorry, the moon has gone exactly 180 degrees around the zodiac from halfway between Aries and Taurus to halfway between Libra and Scorpio. It's at the exact halfway point, but this is not a full moon, right? It takes another day, day and a half maybe, for the moon to be in exact opposition to the sun, that, that syzygy which defines the full moon. So 180 degrees, the moon must move more than 180 degrees. It has to go about 195 degrees around, just past the half hour mark to get to that full moon point. And then we keep going, we keep going, we keep going, getting to the end of the month. Okay, that is our sidereal month. Right, the moon has gone 360 degrees. It ended up back where it was. That takes what we say 27 and a half days. But in that time, in that 27 days, the sun has gone 27 and a half degrees. That's almost all the way across a whole other sign. And so it's going to take another one, two, two and a half days to come back into alignment with the sun, which is where we get our next new moon which is that synodic month and and the synodic month and the solar month are uh, almost are there a very similar amount of time and sometimes they're near each other and sometimes they're not right some sometimes the sun changes signs halfway through the lunar cycle sometimes the sun changes signs you know two days before the new or full moon so it just depends because they're not they're they're sort of you know they're they're going around like this and sometimes they line up and sometimes they're on on opposite sides they're they're beings moving through a similar path at different speeds right so that's okay this is our summary the sidereal month, like we said, is that moon going 360 degrees it has nothing to do with the sun, purely a lunar measurement. This is our synodic month where both moon and sun make it all the way around, or sorry, moon makes it all the way around plus one sign, sun makes it through one sign, and this is where usually the new moon is in a different sign every month. The full moon is in a different sign every month. And it's a very special occasion every two and a half years where there's two new moons or two full moons in the same sidereal sign. Because the, you know it has to be very close because that synodic month takes about 29.5 degrees of difference. And so most of the time, it's going to drift from Taurus into Gemini, Gemini into Cancer. But every once in a while, there's a new moon in the first degree of Gemini, and then the next new moon is going to be in the last degree of Gemini. And that's um, what we call it's, um, uh, I'm forgetting the Sanskrit of it, but it it's considered a, a time outside of time. And it's a great time to pay debts and apologize. And it's sort of thing where like time has a chance to catch up. And in this moment, I'm I'm thinking about like an old videotape where you could pull the the tape out, and and this is sort of what happens. Time gets messy as it goes around, and uh, that extra month is when is the chance for you to like wind the tape back up into the videotape. That's a, a dated reference. I'm only thirty seven something years old, but apparently videotapes don't exist anymore. Anyway, okay. That's about what I wanted to say today. Um, and and so I guess I'll, I'll pause for any comments, questions, concerns, confusion, revelations one more time before I, I tell you what's going to happen next. Good. OK. So, yeah. So that's that's. Uh, the quick and dirty about what is time, how does it work, and and keep coming back to this phrase that life is how it feels for you specifically from where you stand. How does it feel as light changes as time moves through space? This this is 
how we can define reality. And again, we've got the evidence of it right here. All of these slides of the sun and moon changing, all that is is us from our perspective here on Earth looking up and noticing how the light changes. Oh, the moon is full. Oh, the moon is half empty. Oh, the moon is nowhere to be found. These are changes in light that define changes in time as we zoom through space and it all makes us feel a certain way. The actions that you perceive of other people around you, all that is is light, uh, energy and attention going out, light from the sun and moon bouncing off of everything you see around you and coming back into your eyes to be integrated and perceived and interpreted by your brain, and then we are meaning-making machines. When I see someone wave their hand like this, that's just light changing. You know, humans are dense light forms appearing solid. And so when light changes, I perceive it, interpret it, and then I make a choice accordingly. And so this is the study of astrology, tracking how the light is changing and interpreting the omens Again, sometimes the astrology is waving like this. Sometimes the astrology is just standing there like this. And, and so uh, usually it's a little bit of all of the above. And so by studying the quality of light and how it's changing, we can interpret and define reality and make skillful choices accordingly. And so this is what the next month of Wednesdays with Dave are going to be all about is uh, understanding.